What's up, my boy MVP Daily? Uh, I'm making this video for you. Uh, it is unlisted, so I'm just sending you the link. You probably already got it. If you're watching this, I already sent you the link. But yeah, this is just for you, man. Like, I really want you to win this tournament. And like, I like I am. I'm not no. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. If you act, if you reach out, I'm gonna help you. So I'm gonna show you how to. You can use this playbook to win. Like, so first of all, I'm gonna talk about the big down two three six. But you're gonna want to do with this, like. Uh, first of all, no, let's not even talk about that. Let's talk about running the ball because, like, a lot of people going to come out, like, especially in tournaments now, they will come out running the ball. And I think you will have a lot of success. Pick the 335 wide right here. Pick the Sam Will Blitz 3. Like, uh, let's say they come out. If they come out in something like this, uh, it should still be cool. Like, but if they come out, like, two wide receivers, two running backs, two tight ends, uh, then you might want to go to three four i but like i just you gonna base a line spread your line spread your linebackers and qb contain so then even if they do run a ball or something like uh you still can contain it with this or or like even if if they run in something like halfback base or spamming power down your throat this is gonna be the defense you run a want run so i suggest using three three five wide as your base defense come out in the same wheel blitz three and like this should be the first thing you come on in just to see what they like to do. And they come out with something like this. I suggest like three by one, two by two. All you're gonna do is base a line, uh, and spread your linebackers. You can bring this guy down or you can leave it. All you wanna do is this. Uh pit this guy, pit both these guys in flats. Like pit both your linebackers in a flat. Or you can uh pit this linebacker in a hook zone with you. But mainly I like this because like when the plays first started, you can Hit these you can either leave them blitzing and just hover right here and get some heat or you can hit rb twice rb rb a pit them in a flat you can pit them in flats quicker and it's sort of like mabel on both sides but i like to pit like if there's three people to that side i'll put that guy in the hook i put that guy in the hook use the middle so then therefore like you see they can't really do anything on this defense you know what i'm saying like not much they can do so this is what i suggest you using for a base defense well, this is why I suggest you come out in for a base defense, and then once you figure out what they like to do and you comfortable, then I suggest like you start running. Uh, like I suggest you start after that. You can start running a big down two three six and type stuff. But I suggest you come out in this because it's hard to run a ball on nickel three three five wide. It's good run D. Like, you're gonna see if I try to run the base here. Like you try to run base, like people are filling that gap. So inside zone is dead, half back base is dead. So really, this right here, like I'll probably do something like this and use it as safety right here. But this right here, you just running something like this, or like put him in a purple, put him in a flat. You got him in a, you got him in a flat, and then you got this dude. You could put him in a hook with you to safety, or it don't matter. Put him in a flat, put him in a hook with you. But I think you'll be real successful just doing this first. Uh, this is a, like this is a defense I would usually come out in when I'm using a three three five, but not everyone does this. But like I said, it's real hard to run against, and it's just pitting these guys in flats or purples just can mess with someone because everybody like to use the flats and they don't know what to do. They have no idea what to do. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they have no idea what to do when when these purples come up because there's nothing open. But you see the middle of the field got open, but I don't know how that happened. Like you are in cover three, so it is a good play. So then, but then once uh you start getting comfortable with what they doing, I suggest you go to something like like if like if they running the ball like two wide receivers, two running backs. The best run D, I would say, just go to three four I, then go to uh cover four drop show two, something like that. And then if they are trying stretches, like uh, let's go to a stretch or a toss. There you go. Just base a line, spread your linebackers, spread your line, then edge rush. So they, cause you want to keep them from getting to the outside, basically. So if they do try that stretch, all your guys are edge rushing. So you're going to get a block shell. So make sure you got good block shaders there. And then I shade underneath too. And then like it, whatever side they run a stretch to, like you see, everyone's edge rushing. So you're containing the outside. So you don't want to crash middle. You don't want to, uh, you just and it has good coverage behind. I usually use a safety. Like I said, you don't want to crash middle. Like you see how it just stops to run. So they doing that. That's what you can use to shut it down and slow it down. And then after you start shutting down their run, they're gonna go to like one wide or three wide receivers, one tight end sets, and then you can go to your big dime. And the first thing I will probably come out in is the uh 
I will first come out in the slant zone two, just to see what they're doing, and then you know the setup for that. And if you, if you don't, I can give you that setup. All you're gonna do is base a line, pinch your D line, crash him to the right, and then you can QB spy this middle guy right here, or you can leave him blitzing. And this corner right here, you can either take him here and use him, or you can man him up with someone across the field because that will stop. That will stop a drag, slants, anything. That will stop all that. You can use this linebacker here. You're going to see when they hike the play. Like, you see, that time, that was a stick route. But, like, you can see how we had them manned up. But, like, you still get good heat. Then you got you can have a spy up. You only sit in three people. You can man him up with somebody if you want uh, and use this guy. Or you can use that guy. Or you can just use this guy and make adjustments from there and, like, man someone up like that. You know what I'm saying? You still get good heat from that. Like, you see how you're getting good heat, uh, everything's covered. And then you don't want to spam the splits, that's the thing. I'm always mixing in, like, when I do do the big down 2-3-6. Uh, when I do do the do big down 2-3-6, I usually go cover 3 bluff. Like, I usually mix in the two because they're the same setup. But with slant zone 2, you're looking right now, you have to, you don't have to leave that corner blitzing on the left. You can do whatever you want. But usually, like, if you call cover 3 bluff, I use it as safety. Let me just show you an example of that. Like, I do the same thing. I use it as safety, make my adjustment from there. And what I usually do in my adjustment from here, I got a running back or linebacker here. Hit RB, RB, hit X, and then man coverage, and then man them up on A usually. Because A usually coming across on a – they usually put their tight end on the drag, slant something. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just don't want to – uh, what you want to call Watch out for that. I just don't want to have to worry about that. So then I usually shade underneath so the flats is covered over there. And if I don't, if I do leave that guy in a purple and I think they're trying to flood me, like run a flat corner streak, I usually put this guy in a flat here. And then just, or put the linebacker in a flat here, RB, RB, uh, Y, and flat zones. And I always use quick adjustments. Like I always double tap RB to adjust my linebackers or double tap Y. And then you can adjust any DB from there. Instead of clicking on to them like this, I don't have to leave my users. So then I use the user to flat here. And once people pick up pick up on that, that you're using the flats there, you can, uh, and then they're going to try to start throwing quick flat routes. You know what I'm saying? So then they're going, because I usually come here, because if they try inside zone, it's usually dead. Like, because this defense is good for inside zone. So then when they do run the ball, like, it's good defense. All you got to do is stand in with your safety and fill the gap. But then they're like, okay, he's using a flat defender. So then they try to throw a quick flat out there. And that's why you want to mix in a slant zone too. And then also, I don't only blitz from this formation. I also, uh, I also, where is it at? The cover three Mabel. That's what I also use, cover three Mabel. Like I honestly think calling a big down two, three, six can help you this game. Unless they're like run heavy, then I suggest don't use it. But I usually call cover three Mabel when they think I'm still blitzing. And I bring this guy down like he's blitzing. Like I make it look the same. I shift my D-line to the left and I crash right. Bring this guy down so they think he's probably still blitzing. But but I'm really playing Mabel, so it's going to be a lot harder for them. And then I don't like to usually mess with this safety because then they might think, oh, uh, he's not blitzing anymore. So then when they call to the play, they're blocking extra people. And uh, now you got everybody out in coverage and everything's covered. So that's why I usually use that. So those was mainly the three plays I use from uh, Big Down 236. And I might mix in man. Uh, I might mix a man every now and then just to catch him off guard or I go to cover six show two That's a really good max coverage defense because that's a hard coverage to beat like one of the hardest coverage to beat in the game is cover six So once you keep blitzing them call cover six every once in a while that catch him off guard I mean, That's that's all for the big down two three six big down one four six uh, Where is it at? I would suggest using this like if you really can't shut them down or do anything come here and come to the cover cover six press out the big down one four six great coverage great run fits like if your blitzes aren't working you just can't shut them down come to cover six this should slow them down and at least force them to make a mistake but that's all i see in a big down one four six really or i suggest you use tampa two this is another base defense i would strongly recommend like especially if you're going against bunch like it's a lot of people like bunch. Like all you gonna do is base a line. This linebacker is not gonna be here. You can man this. You can use it, this guy, and just here's what you wanna do: man this linebacker up on A because everybody like to run verticals, right? Just man him up 
or I usually man this guy who's blitzing up on him. I use a linebacker. I leave him there. Uh, I usually make that's usually the only adjustments I make unless they start doing more. But Tampa two, y'all gonna see just just by itself like Tampa two is just a hard coverage to beat. So I suggest like if they're passing a lot and you really can't stop them passing, come to Tampa two and who's there even if they're in a set like this. Like let's go to four verticals. Even in a set like this, all you wanna do this blitzing guy, man him up here. And the only person you have to watch is A. That's the that's it. So then when they run the ball, you sitting on A, you just watching A. That's it. You that's all you have to do. So that blitzing middle linebacker, all you have to do is man him up on the slot receiver. The guy you think is gonna uh run like whoever you think is gonna attack the middle, usually the slot receiver. I don't really man him up on the tight end a lot. So I think this will also you can also be successful with this. Like, no doubt, just because of coverage behind it and everything. Like, you see, you just cover everything else. Everything else is covered. Like, you see, you can just use this as an easy base defense, especially in draft champs. They don't got the best offensive line. And they won't have the best receivers. But like I said, uh, now let's see what else we're talking about. That's what I would use for my base defense. It's, that's, a, that's especially Tampa 2 is one of the hardest covers to beat. So, if you really can't stop nothing, go to Tampa 2. That blitz him with a linebacker, just man him up on a slot receiver. Or whoever, you, if they're spamming a play, like a post route from the slot receiver, like they're pa spamming that vertical route out a bunch, they're spamming, you know what I'm saying? Just man him up. You should have no problem. Uh, what else we got in here? I also suggest you can use the, uh, you know, buck slant. So if you got them like a third and long situation, you know the buck slant setup. That's the only time I will come to the nickel two, four, five, even. Just to catch him off guard, cause you like I would use this and like probably like towards the end of the game when you really need a blitz and you have not sent Buck Slant at him. Just come here, like it's third and eighteen. They haven't seen Buck Slant yet. They saw the rest of your blitzes. They will not expect this. That's when you can send a Buck Slant. Or like I said, the three three five wide I mainly use for run D. Like if they're uh like if they're like the three Sam Will blitz, they're spamming base or spamming inside zone. I really can't stop their run. That's what I go to. Or you can play the max coverage out of it, like I told you. And with the three four I, uh, you do got. Uh, I just use cover four for defense. I showed you that you got a couple blitzes I uploaded, but I don't really think you're gonna need to send a lot of heat to be successful with this playbook. I think the only blitzes you you can li literally only send uh, slant zone two and mixed in cover three bluff, and you can send the buck slant three out the big down two three six just to send something from the left. But I think you should be fine and. I don't, in draft champs, I think a lot of people are going to be quick hiking you. So I would suggest you let this safety come down by himself. Because if you get caught on that safety, I just think it's a it's real dangerous. But if you can set it up, then set it up. But I just don't. I would probably suggest using an SS grade 3 because he comes down a lot faster. But it's up to you. Um, but like, it's really hard. Like, it's, we got the 3-4 over. Like I said, I think you can be easy successful with these plays in here as long as you uh catch them off guard just like i said i tell people don't spam blitzes don't spam that but if it comes down to it and you really can't stop them use a tampa two uh or use this cover two sink right here you can use the same concept you leave that corner blitzing though uh and you can man up the middle li middle linebacker on the crossing route and use one of the out other linebackers or the corners that that blitz cover two sink that blitz is glitchy and he does get free sometimes not all the time but that's another thing to mix in or you can just play man coverage out of big down one four six and use a linebacker but I think you should be really good with this blitz and if you do got him in third and long go ahead and send an FS slant three to SS scrape three because it won't get blocked but besides that I think you should be good bro let me know if this helped um yeah just let me know if this helped.